All right, let's do an example of how to calculate dead weight loss in a competitive market after a price ceiling. Uh, price floor is really the same process, so you just follow that. Okay, so here we have a, a competitive market for widgets, some kind of product. Uh, equilibrium price is four, that's where uh, demand meets supply. Uh, equilibrium quantity is 17, okay? So let's say the government comes in and says that's too expensive and they set up a price ceiling of, there we go, uh, of $3. So it's illegal to charge any more than $3 in this market. And so that, that'll that look like that and it's commonly uh, denoted as maybe PC for price ceiling. Um, and so what we want to do is calculate the, the loss to the market. So we follow this $3 over to where it hits the supply curve. Um, so the quantity supplied is going to be 13 and we follow it over to where it's the demand curve and that's over here and the quantity demanded is going to be 19 and so it's the so first of all we're going to have a shortage of six because that's the distance between what's supplied in the market now and what will be purchased in the market now the, the deadweight loss calculates the loss to consumer surplus so the consumer surplus was this big triangle here in a competitive market so if you were calculating the consumer surplus, it's just that area there, and the producer surplus uh, was down here. Um, so I'll write with uh, orange here. Um, so the loss in efficiency is gonna be, we're gonna lose this part of the market, okay? So the producer surplus will lose this part here, and the consumer surplus will lose this part here. The consumers will actually take this part of the producer surplus. So that, that isn't a dead weight loss, it just changes hands from the consumers to the producers. So if you can find the product, it's a pretty good deal. So what we need to do is, is just find the area of uh, this this whole thing is dead weight loss. So it's easiest to just find the two triangles and then add them together. So formula for that is one half uh, base times height. So uh, that is from 13 over to 17 here, so that's 4, uh, and then that's $4 up to $6, so that's 2, so 4 times 2 is 8, and then half of that, so um, the loss to, that's really hard to read, consumer surplus is 4, and then the loss to uh, producer surplus same formula, so one half. Now it's going to be this this triangle here. Um, so it's 13 over to 17. So that's again four, and from here it's three to four. So it's one, and so um, we got uh, four and this two. So two is the loss to producer surplus. I add them both together. The dead weight loss is the loss to consumer surplus plus the loss to producer surplus and so we're gonna end up in this market um, with six and so six might seem like a meaningless number um, but if you were multiplying this by millions of units uh, this is dollars per pound right this can really add up if this was days hours uh, whatever you've really impacted this market so that's how to calculate dead weight loss from a um, price ceiling. Now if we had a price floor you just do the same thing but the price floor has got to be above got to be above the equilibrium price so you just kind of do the same thing same process except it's it would be different in this case so um, so now from, uh, from that one would be uh, the, the quantity demanded would be 15 and the quantity supplied would be 21 so in that case we'd have uh, a surplus, but you just follow the same process. That's how to do that.